It was a regular day in Kendall High School, and it was fall. And for the past two weeks, a lot of students have been talking about the school dance that was approaching. Most of the students, like the girls, had been talking about what type of dress they will wear and who they're going to take on a date to the dance. But one of the girls was Akira Verity. She had been wondered who to take to the dance. But she had been waiting to be asked to go on so on to ask her to take her to the dance. But for the past two weeks, no one didn't even ask her, and she started to wonder if anyone would even want to go with her to this particular dance though. Even her friends like Applejack and Rainbow, and even particularly Twilight, had ensured her that some boy would ask her out for a dance. She didn't have to be desperate or give up hope. She just had to wait. There would be a boy there at school to ask her. So every time when a boy walked up to Rarity, she was hoping that maybe that he would ask her for this dance. But often there was some of the boys asking her for help or asking for advice to how to ask out a girl for a for school dance. And now she'd almost had given up hope. Even Twilight hadn't wanted to bring her, for her boyfriend. Timber Sprouse to the school dance, which she had been given a promise a uh, permission from Celestia, the principal Celestia. Even Applejack had a have a date. Even Rarity, Rainbow, Sunshine, and Pinky, but Rarity was the only one of her friends who didn't have a date. But she thought Sunset didn't have a date until she found out she was also having a date for the school dance. And now, she was almost had a thinking, maybe skipping the school dance. But she had been looking forward to this particular school dance all year. So, why give up the opportunity to find a date for this particular school dance? She wanted to go to that. But she hadn't even been able to find anyone to go to. But that changed. One day when she was studying with Pinky and Applejack in the library. They were just doing some dance on their school subjects, math, English, when this boy by the name Silver Diamond. Silver Diamond was one of the new kids that had started working, started entering the school during the summer. After summer's break. And he was apparently quite good looking for her. She had never actually noticed at first. She did see him a couple of times in school, they had small talk about that, but she never thought about him, because she believed a such handsome young man as him had only found a date to be with. But apparently, he had been asked a few times by the girls, but he had always turned them down. He said that he was looking for to ask someone, someone else to go to the date. And it turned out to be Rarity. Ever since he saw her during the first day after summer break, he had fallen in love with Rarity. But he had not the courage to even to tell her to ask her out during the summer break after summer break that. So, but this particular day, he had gathered so much courage he couldn't and walked up to Applejack and the others and tried to at least ask her out. Even though he was stammering or stutter was one of the words, but he took a deep breath and asked her if she wanted to be his state for the school dance. With Rarity, she was a little bit surprised, but her friends looked at her and nodded and asked her to say said yes. Because this was the only one who had asked her to be her date to school dance. And she said actually yes. And he smiled. After that he had left though. He stood in the hallway, felt like his heart was racing so fast he's almost having a heart attack. But deep down, this was the moment he had waited for. And where did he 
She didn't pay much attention after that. After that, he asked her. She went back to studying. But the others, they actually told her. Had you been noticed them before? Bradley looked up and said that he had noticed Silva dying with before. They talked a few times, but she never thought about it. I mean, she said that she believed that he had only been asked out for the dance before her. But they all said that he had always turned down or denied any of their offer to be there that those girls been dating him. She was a bit surprised because such good looking young man as him always turned down others to only be with her. That made her feel special. But then, since this dance is going to be about next week, on a Friday, she wondered what to wear, what kind of dress, what it looked like. She went out of school, she grabbed Sunset. And they both went to a local store to find any sort of dress that she could wear, or at least maybe possible to use. She found several. She found several dresses that she thought was great, some of them were better, others was okay, but the prices, some of them were too expensive and that she didn't have to afford with. Even if she would have afford, it wouldn't be right to pay over much of the money to use for other dresses. But after that she realized though, after that she and Sunset was this cafe in the in the local mall, they were sitting and talking about the dresses they had been looking at and Verdi was curious now what to do. Since even Sunset agreed some of the dresses were too expensive for her to even use. Even that she probably had to ask her parents for some amount of money so that she can buy this dress. But even Rarity realized most of the time her parents would say no. Or not knowing that how much this dress was causing, it probably said no honey, that is too expensive. Which she, she always played her mind. But then it came to her. Since she is a fashion designer, and she has her own boutique. Why not making her own dress? After that, she studied, uh, watched some of the dresses that she wanted, and remember some of the, these designs, the details were on it. She probably could make her own dress until the school dance. And when she told Sansa about this, she said that's a good idea. After all, Rarity had done some other designs of fashions, especially during the battle against the Sirens. So why wouldn't she be able to do her own dress for the school dance? So, Rarity went with Sunset the next after the same afternoon, right after, to find some fabrics, some materials that she could need. And she finds a lot of the fabrics that she wanted to have, so after they had bought the things, she went straight home and started working. And the next day, she worked even more. She worked on the dress for the next couple of days, and just before the school dance was approaching, she was finished. But she didn't show her dress for her friends. She wanted it to be a surprise. And the same day, on Friday, 7 p.m., Silver Diamond approached. Rarity's home, and when he saw her in a dress, he was like, Wow, she looked gorgeous. She was a beautiful ever. And when they arrived to school, all the other students were just talking when suddenly when they opened the door, and then she walked in with Silver Diamond, many of the students just looked at them and were really surprised. Most of all, of her dress and who she was taking as a date. Some of the other girls who has been asked by who they had asked Rare Silver Diamond in it before was surprised that he had actually undertaken Rarity. But they didn't have to seem to be upset at all. They saw that how much she is a very beautiful girl, so they didn't mind that. 
but during the rest of the, the school days, Rarity had this amazing time. She spent a lot of time with her friends and even dancing with Silver Diamond. And for the first time ever since Silver Diamond asked her to be her date, it'll be his date. She had this amazing time the whole night. For when they were during the dance, it felt that they were the only ones in the whole stadium. It was like everyone else was gone. Even after school dance was over, Silver Diamond drove her home, and just before she entered her own home, Rarity said that she had this amazing time, and even she wished this dance, this night, could never be ending. And for that, she kissed him. But just before he didn't leave, he turned around and asked her if she wanted to go out with him on a date, as official date, with her maybe to the next Friday, maybe to the movies or a restaurant. And she blushed and said the movies would be fun. So that was official. And for the next day, though, she was so very happy because the, during the same evening I went after the sim on school dance. She called her friends right after she get home telling them about her about her date, how she felt and that he actually had asked her out on the first official date. All her friends was really so super excited. Even Rarity though was a little bit skeptical how this dating probably would, wouldn't work. Because she's either with her friends or at a boutique or at school. She didn't know if she had any time for dating, but Applejack was more wasn't even concerned. But she said, give him a try, Rarity. She had always been alone and now you have a boy that was very interested in you. Give him a chance to prove it. She nodded and was willing to give her a chance. And for the next couple of days when she went back to school, by then everyone was completely aware about her be dating Silver Diamond. Even some of the girls was really, was really felt like they were jealous. But in fact they weren't anymore. Because after the date themselves, they had actually even fallen in love with their dates and themselves. And rarity though, she didn't mind that she had been dating Silver Diamond. After all, he has been a true gentleman to her during the school dance and even afterwards. They even talked together at his school, like during the recess, during even lunch break. They would have a short conversation like how much they enjoyed the dance together. How much they could not wait for their first date on Friday. But when the Friday actually arrived, Rarity was getting ready for her date with Silver Dime. But then something happened. He, he actually called her, telling her that the date had been cancelled. She was surprised because she has been looking forward to all day, even on the entire week to be with him. She asked him why. Apparently, his grandfather has been quite ill, and he was in the hospital, and it's he seems to be not going to be lasting for the rest of the night. And since Silver Diamonds was very close to his grandfather, so he decided to be with him with, by his side until he was gone. And Rarity didn't mind because she would have completely understood. So she promised him if he wanted to talk with her the next day, she understood. And he thanked her. But the next day, around 2 p.m., Rarity received a call. And it was actually, in fact, from Silver Diamond. He told her that his grandfather had passed. And he had been crying all night. 
and even she could still hear him on his boat hole that he was still crying. She offered to come over comfort, which he didn't deny to, so she did went over and sure enough, he was sitting on the front yard in this old bench just crying. She sat down next to him and from that moment they start talking. And Rarity said if she if he wanted to go maybe go somewhere, maybe to have something something to eat or maybe go to the park to just have a different environment, maybe to calm down. And he said yes. So they went to the sugar corner to bought some cupcakes and went to the park to just sit down by a pond and just to relax. And from that moment, Rarity realized Silver Diamond is a true soulmate. He has been showing how much he really cared about his grandfather. He even said that his grandfather was like a second father to him. Since his own father passed away when he was just only five years old. And his grandfather has always been there for him. Always taught him how to do things, how to teach him how about to do. And for that, he was grateful. And now losing him. It was like losing his second father. And Rarity, she could not even imagine how that felt. But he promised him always to be by his side. And for the next couple of days, everything was going to be perfect between them. In fact, ever since that he has lost his grandfather and Rarity was always there for him, their life was now bonded. As forever. And after several times that they had been meeting up at the park or at his home, at his house, house, Rarity and Silver Diamond went on their first date to the movies, which they both had as a great time. Even after that, when they came home, Rarity said that she had never been this happier to be with him. She even called him as her boyfriend which he smiled, and they both shared the first kiss as an official couple. It didn't take long though for all her friends to realize how much she really cared about this young boy. And even though they were the same age, they were actually very curious how things going on between them. Red did really just, doesn't even speak much about him, but because, because that she is always busy with her work in particular, or his work. But when they did mention about him, she felt sparkles in her eyes when they looked at her, always smiling and blushing how he had been treating her as a true gentleman. And they were always happy to see that she is so happy. But there was one point when Verity had talked to Silver Diamond, knowing that they were going to supposed to be on a date when suddenly she had cancelled. She mentioned that she had to do such such much homework. And some of the homeworks were due the next day, and she could not do ego spend as much time to do work on them. And of course, Silver Diamond didn't mind because she he knows how much school works is important. So he even offered her to come over to help her with some of his homeworks. When she agreed, when he arrived, he actually had even brought some of his own homework. So they actually decided to do the homework together. And every time when they had homeworks, they either helped each other out, and they even called this as a studying date, which they didn't mind. They always had something to eat between there like a small break and just having each other's by their side, especially after what happened to Silver, Silver Diamond's grandfather and how much he cares about Rarity and how much Rarity, Rarity cares about him. So much about this, their personal life has been always been like a mess for them, but they still care so much about each other. They never thought about any single thing. It was like they were at a 
perfect relationship. Even they both know there isn't such a thing as such perfect relationship. But it happened that they had some arguments. But when nothing else end up is serious, always worked it out, and they always did that as well. After the both of them had finished high school, Rarity continued work in her boutique as normal. She had gained so much popularity among other fashion designers, and she had regained so much, so much fame of her designs and things. What about Silver Diamond? He was actually very good in mechanics, and he was actually studying about mechanics in school. And after school though, he actually started working as a mechanic and it was a good, great job for him. Even though that he opened his own mechanic job after about two years. And he had actually had a great time there. He had gained so much respect in the community. And after they've been dating for the next another five years, when they decided to get married. Because during one evening when Silver Diamond took with Rarity to, to the beach, just having a, a night picnic, and they even danced together to her to some music that he had brought with her. And this was something that he had a plan for quite some time. And especially during their fifth year's anniversary. And after they had been danced on, Silver Diamond asked, asked Rarity to close her eyes. And as she did, he then took out, took out a small box and opened it, and then said that she can open her eyes. But before she can say a word, she's not crying. He asked her if she wanted to marry them because she is the one that means so much to her to him and she said yes immediately and after they had told the both families they were all super super excited it was even silver diamond knew that his grandfather and his father would have been so proud about him. They even got married about a month later. They even went a small cruise together for about a week. There they had this amazing time. And even though, even after they get got married, and even they when they came back home, things was actually seems to be going well. But then suddenly only two years later Rarity announced she was pregnant and they were expecting a baby girl. And when Silver Diamond found out, he fainted twice because of this a big surprise, of this a big shock. But even though he fainted twice, he was still very much happy. He could not have been happier for, for him to be parents. And five years later, they even had a baby boy. And they even named him after Silver Diamond's grandfather as an honor to him. Even for Rarity though, before she even met, even before she was even asked out by Silver Diamond, she never thought that she would maybe to find her true love even had read so many romance stories about things, but even though, even there were so much about Rarity, she had dreams of being married, having a big family, still working as a fan designer, and having a lot of have a loving husband to come home home to. And even there was just a fair tales or a dream, daydreams that she had, but knowing. That that day would one day come true, which it did. And for Silver Diamond, though, 
he had never expected to have fallen in love with Rarity. Even had been asked by several of the girls in school to be her, to be their boyfriend, or he was going to date, which he always declined. He was waiting for to find the right girl to be with. Even his grandfather had been teaching him how to be a perfect gentleman. Always listen, always be kind, and never, as never to be starting an argument. And if there was any argument going on, always keep calm. But if it's always going to get any worse, just leave and come back when you have self calmed down or that a girl or the girlfriend had calmed down. It wasn't worth to be fighting over your special some, someone to be with. And from that, he was very grateful to have his grandfather's wisdom. And always shares them. And that's how Rarity and Silver Diamond by the true love got a big family. The end.